for me, it's real important that the horse at least has a good lead departure before we go to teaching them to change leads. Because a lead departure is the exact same thing as a lead change, except for in a lead change, we're already moving and we just change. So I'm going to make sure that I can do all the parts in the lead departure and I can step them forward. I can pick them up and get them straight. I can make them yield to my leg and then softly just step up into it. If I have that, then I can start going through the process of changing leads. And I, I do lead changes a little bit different than a lot of people. <clears throat> I had a very good horseman show me something about 20 years ago on lead changes because I used to panic about them. They were always hard. There's so much to lose in the show pen with a lead change. There's so many penalties, but when you do one perfect, there's not a lot of reward. <laughs> so I was always scared of them, and he showed me a few things, and it's a little different than a lot of people do it, but, but I always start with a simple lead change. I, I am not afraid to trot through that lead change, and sometimes when I'm teaching them, I may trot through a lead change for a month to six weeks before I ever get a flying lead change. In the lead departure, it's very, very important that you can move these horses forward. They get soft in your hands, they yield to your leg, and you can lay your leg and cluck to them. And they step up soft into that lead. Once you have that lead departure down pretty good, you can go ahead and start changing leads. So I'm first just going to lope around here. I'm going to hit a straight line. I'm going to put him in a position to change and then don't change. And when I put him in that position, I'm not going to bend him a lot, but I want him to move his shoulder out of the way, what I call clearing that shoulder. So when I come through here and I hit that straight line, I want to move his shoulder to the left. I'm going to move his shoulder over to the left, use my right leg, then change to my left leg. And I'll go in a straight line and let that fence stop him, and I'm not pulling on him and saying, hey, you're in trouble. Some of the problems that we have when we start doing lead changes is they're going to anticipate the change of direction. And so as I'm coming across there changing from the left lead to the right lead, he's going to want to throw his shoulder to the right. If he throws his shoulder to the right, you're going to drag the, the back end. <clears throat> so a lot of people, when I talk about lead changes and they're dragging leads, I try to explain to them it has nothing to do with the back end. Yes, they're not changing behind, but they're not changing behind because there's no place for the hind end to go. A lead change is not a lateral motion, it's a forward motion. They gotta change up underneath themselves. Well, in order for that horse to change to the right lead here, his shoulder has to be open.